Hey everyone, it's Dylan from the Black Forest Wood Company. This week we're going to be working on an 11 foot by 4 foot Buckeye Burl and Resin Dining Table with a solid ash X base. As always, if you guys can leave a like on the video, that really helps us out and gets this video out to more people so we can show you guys more cool stuff. To start this piece off, we actually poured a solid black base layer so that we could hide the plates of the X base uh, for mounting actually because the client didn't want to see those mounting plates that would kind of interrupt the layout of the burl. So we just poured a solid black base layer uh, with our black forest deep resin and then we're topping it off with a clear layer also done with our black forest deep resin. So immediately after demolding this piece, we get it onto our Avid CNC for flattening. One tip that I can mention is once your epoxy is cured, you wanna try and flatten it as quickly as possible. If you let it, let's say, get too hard uh, and go for like 30 days, you can actually experience some chip out when you go to flatten the surface of your piece. Once we've got it surfaced, then we like to use our Festool track saw to go ahead and square this thing up and cut it to size. The track saw does require you to take multiple passes in order to actually cut through a table this thick. And it also tends to kind of create static. Well, I think it's the epoxy that actually creates the static. But because of that, a lot of the dust particles from these cuts ends up getting clogged up and clumped in the saw. So it is normal to expect to have to take that cover of the saw off, clean the dust out, I would say at least once or twice while you're cutting a table of this size. And then fortunately, we have the advantage of a 54 inch wide, wide belt sander in our shop. And this thing also has three drums on the inside that allow us to sand three grits in a single pass. Uh, so we have 120, 150, and 180. There's still obviously palm sanding afterwards, but it does a lot of that initial work to get the CNC marks out. Then after the sanding, we're routing out our pockets for the leg plates to actually go into this. So we don't have to so much worry about seeing our leg plates through our resin because we have added a solid black base layer on this. And not only do the base layers, let's say, give a nice aesthetic to the piece and kind of highlight that burl, but it also is for function so that you can hide some of these mounting plates that would normally be visible through the resin. Then after using our sanders to take this up to 320 grit, it is off to our finishers to go ahead and spray the acrylic urethane top coat that we're putting on this piece. We mention this every week, but I, I like to keep reinforcing this and going over this. The, the polyurethane is the most durable finish that we offer, but it does tend to take away some of the natural characteristics of the grain and feel of the wood. So while there's no maintenance with this product, you do have essentially a layer of urethane well over your, your wood. So you're not gonna feel the wood grain as much as if you were to just apply an oil finish over this piece. But for clients who let's say have the kind of lifestyle where they don't wanna have to do any maintenance and they just wanna be able to live with these pieces and not worry about it, the urethane's the way for them. Personally, being that I know, let's say, how to maintain a table and I know that uh, applying the oil isn't too, too hard uh, and I'm not opposed to doing some maintenance. If it were my own table, I'd probably want an oil finish just to, to show that natural beauty, but that's why we do custom work and leave it completely up to our clients. After the acrylic urethane is dried, it's time to go ahead and apply the final coat of protection, which is our Black Forest Ceramics. I will give you guys a little teaser here. We do have an exciting announcement coming up with our ceramics. Don't want to give it away yet, but that will be happening within the next couple of weeks. So please stay tuned on our social media channels if you want to find out about that. But the benefits of a ceramic coating are durability, meaning that you know it's going to increase your resistance against any scratches or abrasions that might show up on the surface and also liquid resistance. So it gives a hydrophobic effect to the surface of the wood. So if you are to spill any water on here, it actually beads right up and then it's very easy to clean off. Another benefit is that it's oleophobic, meaning that it's repellent to any oils. So if you have any oils from your skin or anything in food, it makes it a lot easier to wipe off that surface and you don't get that kind of like streaky, greasy looking feel to your table. And then this client has opted for our signature X base. So this is something that I think we started doing maybe about three or four years ago. It's a design that we came up with for a client, not really thinking much of it at the time. We thought it was maybe just gonna be a one-off because this is what this client kind of was looking for. And it ended up being our most popular base option that we have now. 
Previous to this, it was the square steel frames, which are just really simple and clean. But the problem with those legs is that they can actually be kind of obtrusive to seating around the table. Whereas this X space allows for seating all the way around without having to really worry about anyone banging their knees. Uh, and on top of that, it's just really awesome craftsmanship and joinery that gets highlighted. And our preferred go-to finish on these X bases is the black stain, just because it looks really clean. So we're using the General Finishes Black Dye Stain, uh, which we do have on our website if you guys want to check out and purchase. It's a really easy way to get nice light woods, perfect solid black. And then here is the base with its plates mounted on it, and that's also how we like to mount all of our bases to our tabletops. We screw a steel plate with countersunk holes into the top of the base, and then we use threaded inserts through the other side of that plate to fasten it to the top. Oh, <laughs> I love the smell you Like, wasn't it the pool room when it's just you in there and I can smell it? It's like, <laughs> nice. It's like, it's like calming because it smells sweet. It's like, ooh, I got some too. <laughs> We're here today. We're going to be delivering a table to one of our great customers that we did a beautiful giant pivot door for them. Uh, they purchased a table and they've been very patient waiting for us. We also have 10 custom Maloof style chairs that we'll be uh, finishing up here in the next three to four weeks for them as well. We're going to remove their existing table and bring in the new one. Okay, so the bases are coming down here too? Yeah. Okay, we'll go get them. Thank you. Oh, there's one already. I can see myself. Yeah. Those table bases make me look fat, Haley. Alright. Sounds good. Nope. Yeah, I got on the plate. Right. Someone's gonna have to. Yeah. yeah. It's much easier to carry this thing flat, so let's roll it flat towards Brad and Mo. For short, one person to make it even, but as long as you guys are okay on that side, that's we're gonna get the head on. So nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, we got real high, right? Oh, this. Oh, these two windows are kind of surprising. Yeah, it's basically the root ball. And this is just, and it's just all poured in resin. Yeah, yeah, which means, yeah we cleaned it off, which takes a very long time because it's full of dirt and stuff. And then once it's all nicely cleaned up, we pour it. Wow. And here you're going to get a chance to see those threaded inserts that I was talking about earlier. So we do sell those on our website as well. We'll be sure to leave a link down in the description for those. And they're, they're just the most effective and strongest way to actually attach these tabletops to the bases. In our opinion, at least, we haven't found anything better. Maybe you guys in the comment know a better solution. And here is the final product. So the clients were absolutely over the moon with this. They, they loved the piece of furniture. Uh, so much so that we're also going to now be constructing a set of chairs to go around this table for them. The chairs are going to be solid walnut with kind of like a white cream leather. So we are very excited to be doing that. And just very fortunate to these clients for trusting us with all of this work and giving us the opportunity to create something so beautiful. And to those of you who have stuck around to the end of the video, thank you very much. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel as it really helps uh, just get our videos more engagement and help us rank higher in the algorithm. And then more people see our videos, more people order furniture, and we get to share more of this with you guys. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you next week. Uh, what? Oh. <laughs> then he goes back to being normal. He's like, hmm, what? Okay, here we go.